Welcome and welcome back. Of course, you know what time it is. This, oh my god, this is the time. It's Chaos Predicts, and Chaos is always predicting correctly. Now, we have a little pay per view coming up on Sunday night, so you know, gotta dust off the old uh, pad and pen and see what I can figure out, see what I can conjure up for the pay per view. It just doesn't seem like a big deal. TNA Victory Road is this Sunday. Of course, live on pay-per-view. It's going to be back in Orlando, which, again, you can agree or disagree with. I disagree with them. Even having shows there, but that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. What today is all about is predicting the pay-per-view. Now, there's eight matches, uh, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight matches. So I'm going to try to skim through these as quickly as possible and give you the reasons why, of course, uh, this person is going to win. And we'll see Sunday how right I am. Which, normally, I'm always pretty right, uh, especially on TNA pay-per-views uh, over the last year or so. So... Tommy Dreamer and Bully Ray. Uh, this is kind of one of those matches that who really who really cares? Nobody fucking cares about either one of these guys anymore. Uh, from what I understand, I don't care anything about either one of these guys, so I don't care. I say that uh, I say Bully Ray wins, but this right here makes no difference. You might as well not even count this match because this match is not going to make any any kind of difference as far as whether I'm right or wrong, or how good I'm going to feel coming out of this pay-per-view. Uh, first blood match, I'm going to say Matt Morgan. Uh, him and Hernandez is going to be first blood. Uh, they didn't even really, I don't even think they announced it being a first blood, but then again, that's TNA's MO. Uh, and if they did, I missed it because I was fast-forwarding through TNA Impact because I always watch Impact on my DVR. I never watch it live because it's not worth two hours of my time. Um, the number one contenders match, you've got Mr. Anderson Anderson versus Rob Van Dam. And I did that especially for you, Dan. Especially for you, I did that. RVD. Okay, alright. We've, we've done enough with the, with the arms. I've done the arms. I, I do the thing with the arms all the time. Let's stop doing the things with the arms. Since 96, I've done the things with the arms. I can't help myself. Um, I want to say Rob Van Dam wins this. Uh, but I can't. I think what's going to end up happening uh, is they're going to build toward uh, Van Dam and Jeff Hardy much later down the road. So I think right now Anderson wins and finally gets his, his title shot or whatever, and they're going to drag this thing out with RVD a long time. And I've said it ever since October. I said, this is just going to be drug out for a long time. A long time. It's just going to be drug out, and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, the uh, TNA Knockouts tag team titles are on the line. Angelina Love and Winter defending against uh, Sarita and Rosita. And I kind of want to say that uh, that uh, the uh, Sarita and Rosita win because I don't know. I just I kind of feel like it's just the balls in their court. It's not really Rosita. It's Sarita, uh, but I think uh, I think this is going to be the perfect opportunity. Or no, scratch that. I take that prediction back. Uh, I think this is going to be the perfect opportunity because of after what happened on Impact. Uh, where Winter saved uh, Velvet, that now Velvet is going to cause a. It, it's going to cause like she's going to interfere on on Winter's behalf behind the referee's back, and it's going to be they're going to win. Now this is still going to end with a like a Winter and Velvet kind of feud in a couple of months, or you know maybe even a couple of weeks. Who I mean I don't know how they're going to go with this, but it's been brewing and. and it would be dumb of TNA to just stop it, but of course, we all know how TNA works, so who knows. 
Um, so Angelina Love and Winner. Uh, Beer Money versus Ink Ink. I see Beer Money winning. I see no reason why Ink Ink would win it. However, I do like the fact that they're on a pay per view. Uh, and then on a pay-per-view in a tag team title match, which is Big Ups TNA for finally putting that on. Because I think, I've always said Shannon Moore was one of the most underrated talents. Uh, he's not that great uh, in the ring, but the fans love him. And when you're over, you're over. And that's just the way it is. Some people just aren't over. But when you're over, you're over. And, and, and by association... Uh, and plus all the, the the past history that they did with with Jesse Neal, he's over as well. So it's going to be really interesting. Uh, Ultimate X, I see Kaz winning. I, I don't. I think uh, Jeremy and Max are going to. I think that they're going to have a little riffle effect or whatever, and they're going to cause each other to lose. And uh, Robbie E, they're just not going to give him the title back. I hope. So I, I'm going with Kaz. Uh, as far as Matt Hardy and AJ Styles go, I think AJ, um, I think he gets a little bit of revenge after last, after this past week on Impact, and he beats uh, Matt Hardy. Probably gets a few shots in on Ric Flair as well. And that brings us to the World Heavyweight title match between Sting defending against the charismatic enigma, the Antichrist of professional wrestling, as he likes to call himself, uh, Jeff Hardy. And now, I don't, uh, I don't see that they would give the belt back to Hardy. But the last time I said this, you know, Ken Anderson won the belt. Uh, and then Jeff Hardy, he had to defend it against Jeff Hardy the next month. And I was like, there's no way, there's no way he's going to. But Jeff Hardy ended up with the belt. But now since this whole legal thing is, is sorted out and they, they did this big comeback for Sting, I don't see him, uh, I don't see them taking off. I think they're smart enough to know not to take the belt off Sting after he just won it. Uh, with the angle that's currently going on. So, it's going to be interesting to see. So, now, that is my, my, uh, my, uh, my predictions. If I can talk. And, you know what? It, it's, it, there's some good matches on here. Van Dam versus uh, Anderson is going to be good. Uh, I think AJ is going to make uh, Matt Hardy work even better. Uh, the uh, TNA Tag Titles is going to be amazing. Of course, Ultimate X is going to be good. Uh, the TNA Title is going to be, I think, it's going to be pretty good. I think Jeff Hardy is going to make Sting better than actually what he is right now because Sting's kind of you know on the, on the lower part of his his career, and he's just he's not the Stinger from 1994 or God forbid 1988. So, I mean, just think about it. This is 2011. Sting's winding his way down. He's not as great as he was, but, you know, then again, he's still over. Like I said, if you're over, you're over. Now, make sure to come back here on Sunday night because I will have a follow-up video, maybe. I didn't do one off the last pay-per-view. Well, the last TNA pay-per-view. I don't think I did one off the last WWE pay-per-view. Maybe I did. I can't remember. I got something that's going on. Anyway, you guys be good. Uh, Chaos will holler back at you very, very shortly. I've got a couple other videos in the works uh, and big, big things coming up. So make sure that you hit that little button up there that says subscribe. And make sure, make sure that you leave a comment with all, all of your thoughts. Because I will get back to you. And you may not like it, but then again, that's just why I'm the answer, Chaos. It's